Hi, this is Rob Packard from Medical Device Academy, and this is a short video explaining what you get when you purchase our quality manual template. A quality manual template is POL-001. That's our first policy. The policies are at the top of the quality system in terms of hierarchy. And in fact, we actually show a diagram of that on, I believe it's the second page here, where you have policies at the top, then system procedures, or standard operating procedures as some people call them or SOPs. Then you have forms that would be used in work instructions. So um, a list would be a log, a form would be a blank form, a TMP is a template and a WI is a work instruction. And these are um, all documents that you would have is um, either empty templates or they would be a very detailed work instruction explaining a process. The records are what happens when you fill out a log or a form or a template to make a permanent quality system record. But when you purchase our quality system or quality manual template, all you get is uh, three of the policy documents and you get a template for generic process interaction diagram, which I will show you at the very end of this. So you get this template in PowerPoint format so you can make edits to it and delete any procedures that would not be applicable, change the references to procedure numbers if you wanna change the numbers to fit your own quality system, or you could even add uh, things in here. Um, you could also just completely change the diagram and make it your own. Um, rather than having a generic process interaction diagram, you could have something specific that's more unique to your company. Um, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of this procedure and show you some of the uh, things that we've done in here. Um, right here, we indicate that this is compliant with um, the MDD. It's also compliant with the FDA's MDR, I'm sorry, uh, QSR and medical device reporting regulations, the EU regulations. So we'll delete this line in a couple more weeks here when uh, May 26 comes around. And then these other uh, procedures as well here, um, a, or sorry, regulatory references such as 1345, 2016, the MDSAP companion document. So this is compliant with the Canadian regulations as well, which are shown up here, um, 14971, so it, it, it's meant to cover all the major three markets, the US, Canada, and Europe. Another thing that we put in here is we've indicated which uh, clauses are not applicable. This is one of the requirements. You're only allowed to claim um, design controls as an exclusion. So we have that here. We indicate it's not excluded, but if your company is only a contract manufacturer and doesn't do design, you would change that to be not applicable. Or, or sorry, excluded. And then these are the clauses here that can be not applicable. And they're the most common ones. You could have any of the ones in cl sub clauses or clauses six, seven, and eight, but we've identified the most common ones. And then if you go to each of those sections, I'll go to 6.4 because that's the closest. We actually provide a draft rationale for why that would be not applicable. And so if you, if it, if it's not applicable for your company, then you would delete that section where that non-applicability is, and you would change the green font to black font and delete this little part if not applicable. If it is applicable to your company, then you just delete the green text here and go back to this section here uh, at the very beginning, and you would delete 6.4. So that's how you handle areas of non-applicability. As you can see throughout the quality manual, we've identified references to other procedures, like this is the one for supplier quality management. If there is a requirement for a procedure, we just reference the procedure and all the detailed requirements are in the procedure, rather than duplicating it at both places and have the potential for you making a change in one place, but not in another, so you have inconsistencies. If there's no requirement for a procedure, then we put the detail in the quality manual itself. 
So that's how our quality manual is structured. It's not that long, it's 13 pages. We went to a lot of effort to try to make it as thin as possible, uh, as concise as possible. So it, it often takes a little bit more work to do that. Um, but for those companies that feel that all their employees should read the quality manual, at least this makes it a little bit more manageable and you don't have to read quite so much. Uh, but we try to keep it to the, the bare minimums and uh, encourage you to look at the procedures for the detailed requirements wherever there's a procedure that's provided. If you have any other questions, please let us know. But um, you can also schedule a Calendly meeting with us using the Calendly app on our Contact Us page. And then we'd be happy to go through this procedure with you or explain how you would implement it for your quality system. Thank you very much and have a great day.